finally my 16 inch MacBook Pro is fixed and I can go and pick it up. <laughs> Two weeks in repair. Crazy. So my MacBook is on back seat and I am ready to go to home to restore it all from the backups and get it ready for work and that's good chance to talk about backups, backup strategy for development and how to avoid any problems with filed hardware and so on. When we're talking about backups, usually everyone thinking about software agreed that's important and those are most of the cases when you need some kind of backups. But if you are freelancer, you have to care about your hardware on your own. And uh, yeah, sometimes it happens. Sometimes hardware files happens and you, you have to think firstly what you will do when your computer will broke. What I would recommend to keep spare computer at home, it's kind of luxury and it is actually not always needed, but it's very good to have some emergency fund if you need, I don't know, on, on short notice to replace and buy new Mac, you, if you have money you don't have so much problems. I basically, and uh, I believe that almost any other freelancer can't just sit two weeks or three weeks uh, without work and just waiting on repairs. That doesn't work very well for freelancers and for or for remote workers who are taking care about their hardware on their own. So my recommendation here, have some amount of money to be able to replace your hardware if that will be needed. And when this hardware uh, problem is solved, you got new Mac, you should be able to get this Mac up and running very shortly. And uh, this is moment when we have to talk about uh, software backups. Yeah, let's talk about that. But firstly, I will go home and will start install updates on my MacBook and then we can talk. Back at home. So, I have my MacBook Pro back. It was in repair for two weeks and I got my board replace it. Okay, but now it is back and I hope that it will work forever. <laughs> okay, what I'm doing in this case, this is already second time when I have to restore a broken MacBook. Uh, first time my 13 inch was broken and that was in repair for three weeks. So this was in repair for two weeks only, kind of progress. <laughs> so, of course, we have to create accounts and so on. Okay, I will do that, but basically I need only internet, uh, access to the internet to get everything back and be ready to continue work on my projects. First things what I am doing, usually, of course, I am logging into the iCloud to get all of my documents back to my Mac. Second thing what I am installing on my Mac is one password. One password is my password management application. I believe everyone how to use one of those password management applications. Those are just great. <laughs> as soon as I have installed my password management application, I have access to all my accounts. And after that, I'm installing Xcode. And when Xcode is installed, I at, by that time, actually, I already will have most of my projects back on the Mac, even without connection to the GitHub. How it happens, let me explain. But uh, first I will install uh, updates and install all the daily used software on the Mac. And then I will show an example how I make configuration here. So magic of the internet, it was few seconds for you, but I have already my Mac up and running. <laughs> Of course, we have our source code on the online repositories, but actually I have my source on uh, my Mac as soon as I have iCloud connected and all of the documents synchronized with my Mac, just because I am saving my files 
here in iCloud Drive we everyone have documents uh, folder and I'm keeping my development folder right here and development hook folder contains all of my projects I have my own applications here some test projects for example 100 days of Swift UI is here this folder in iCloud uh, Drive this is not a backup of course uh, you still need <laughs> another options to save your data but uh, this is very nice uh, option to have one more place where all of the files are saved not only in the github iCloud already stored that and I have Mac mini here I have connected this Mac mini to the same iCloud account and of course all of the documents are synchronized and this uh, development uh, folder is synchronized as well. Basically I can jump from one device to another device and work uh, on whatever device I like. I have all of the, all the files, all the project files on my Mac. Of course you can use Dropbox in the same way as well. Actually I previously used Dropbox and I had the development folder on Dropbox with all of my projects. You can use any cloud drive to synchronize files between uh, multiple machines and this is very nice if you have desktop and a laptop. Ok, next thing in our list. External hard drives. Uh, external hard drives are lifesavers when we're talking about backups. Of course I'm using those SSD drive, usually I'm using for video editing and storage, not so often for backups, but regular hard drives I'm using for backups, they are light, small, not expensive anymore, so uh, of course I'm using those and everyone should do that. And for backups I'm using just built-in time machine. It works, it's easy, simple and it is reliable. I didn't have any problems with that. I used time machine's backups few times when I needed to restore just some files. I highly recommend to do that. Just buy cheap uh, external hard drive and start uh, backup your data if you are not doing that yet. But the uh, problem with uh, backup on uh, external hard drives is that you have to attach this hard drive to make this backup and uh, sometimes you may lost a day or a few hours of data when this uh, hard drive is not attached. I usually attach hard drive when I am back at home just to synchronize files and also I am using it as a media file storage while I am editing something. But if it is only backup hard drive, it is kind of hard to remember or make routine for daily backups. So there of course are network attached storages as well, but in my opinion that's a bit overkill for just backup, but you can do that as well and that works quite well. But I am planning to start to use online backup solution as well. I used it before, but in one moment I cancelled its subscription, that is uh, Blackblaze uh, backup solution, you can just backup all your data online and there is no any amount of data limit, you can backup your uh, laptop and you can backup any attached hard drives. So if you are like me and shooting plenty of video and photo, you will not generate any income for Blackblaze company, those will be only expenses to back up all that data because they are quite cheap, they was about $5 per month, but uh, I don't know, I will check it, but I am planning to start to use it anyway. So that was it about my backup strategy, I would like to hear from you suggestions how to organize that better, if you have any suggestions that will be Super nice to hear back from you and thank you for watching. If this was helpful for you, there are like buttons and yeah, subscribe button also is here. Just hit it and you will be noticed when I will release next video. Thank you for watching and see you on next one.